Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, then my name is Shraddha and today I am at this skating rink, ice skating rink. We have prepared, Düsseldorf has prepared this rink for the Christmas and it's beautiful. It's huge as you can see and that's my friend Melody. Hi Melody. Hi. <laughs> I met her from A2 classes which are joined German A2 classes in Jena. So you need to learn German, that is so important so in Germany. Important. Yeah, she is now doing C1 level. Yeah. Genau. <laughs> yeah, genau. <laughs> and it's so nice to show her this Düsseldorf we are meeting after two years. And look at this place. It's so, so, so beautiful. She is loving Düsseldorf. <laughs> it is beautiful, right? Yeah. Yeah, so today's video is very important. It is about uh, why people or why immigrants go back to their country. Five reasons why you might rethink or you should reconsider coming to Germany. So here are five reasons why. So let's get started. I always talk about the reasons and the pros and why you should come to Germany, the benefits of coming to Germany, studying in Germany, free education, really good work-life balance. But today I want to touch upon this topic that Germany might not be the right place for you. The first reason is that you don't want to learn German. I don't like that language. If you don't want to learn German, then surviving in Germany or living in Germany would be very difficult for you because you would be struggling to have basic normal conversation in shops or even in the immigration office. Learn basic German at least B1 level so that you can understand each other, you can have good connections because trust me, if you try to speak German, people are ready to interact with you, they are more open to you and you feel more involved. <laughs> I like him. Yeah, he's funny. <laughs> in my last previous uh, internship and thesis, I was feeling left out because I didn't have any German level. And that is the reason why I am telling you to learn German again and again, because otherwise you will be feeling left out, alone, can't make friends because you want to speak English only. So do you speak any English? So that is number one reason why immigrants are leaving Germany and stay tuned in this video because I will be shooting this video in five different locations in Dusseldorf beautiful places like this so that you get the glimpse and yeah the next reason why I will be recording in different places. so yeah stay tuned till the end of this video to find out five reasons so the second point is that if you are used to sugar-coated culture so as you all know that Germans are very direct say it to my face they see things and they say things directly they don't filter their stuff they they say as the thing is but we indians are you know into indirect way of saying we sometimes hesitate to say we drop hints we sugarcoat things but that is not going to happen in germany so if you are uncomfortable in you know uh, facing the truth then that also is a problem for you because that is the reason why Germans are sometimes considered to be cold, rude. So if you are not used to such kind of directness, then you might get hurt. You might feel a little bit sad sometimes. It's rude and it's low and it's, it's just straight mean. And this is the way you have to live with it because they also expect you to be direct, say the thing as it is and do not put any filter, any sugar coating to your um words that is what is expected from you in germany so the third point is that if you are not patient enough you need a lot of patience in germany patience patience my love and if you are someone who's impatient who wants things to be done right now but i want it now then germany is not the great or the right choice for you because here things take time you have to make an appointment you have to go through a process to get the service and also here the customer is not considered to be the king like we have the notion in India or America where the customer is always right so for example I got my uh, buildings elevator broken and I had to wait or this took like one week to fix 
and I was living on the seventh floor and every day I had to climb seven floor. The struggle was real. Just with sometimes with the grocery, sometimes with the work. So every day it was a struggle and I got really impatient and I was emailing my housemaster or someone to get that fixed. But then I had to realize that it takes time in Germany to get things done. You have to go through the process and this customer service or the services are not really fast enough even if you are ready to pay the price so if you're impatient if you don't want to wait then germany might not be the right place for you i am convinced that people do not understand that it takes patience look at them fighting <laughs> So the fourth point is that if you are afraid of paying taxes, as you all know that Germany has high tax. Taxes, <laughs> taxes, beautiful, lovely, taxes. <laughs> the tax ranges from 30 to 42% and I myself is giving 40% of my salary into taxes. So if you are not a fan of paying tax and if you don't want to, you know, pay taxes then Germany is not the right place for you. So the other thing is that, that those money that you're paying is used in free education, medical, healthcare, and also some social security system that you are getting benefits. So again, you someone is paying for those benefits. And when you are starting to earn money in Germany, you have to pay a huge amount of your salary into the taxes. So again, reconsider staying in Germany or coming to Germany if you don't want to pay high taxes. So that's another thing that you should keep in mind when you are coming to Germany. Think, think, think. Think, think, think. And let's move on to our last fifth point, which is quite interesting as well. So the fifth point, which is the most interesting point, is that if you are not used to the cold weather, if you are not comfortable in cold weather like me, I feel cold all the time when it's windy. So Germany then is not a nice place for you because the temperature goes as low as minus five to minus seven to minus 10 degrees Celsius in winter and it is snowy it is windy it is rainy i can't feel my fingers anymore i lie they're, they're, they're numb so in winter many people suffers from winter depression i was also one of them last year i've already shared a video about this phase of my life which you can find here or here i don't know which side but i will link it in winters it is gray, dark, gloomy because the sun sets very early, like 4.30 in the evening. And during summer, it is beautiful. Now when I get the sun, I smile. It is, uh, the sun is setting around at 10 or 11 at night. So it's longer days, awesome. But during summer, the days are shorter. If you are someone who wants sun all the time, then Germany is also not a nice place because for six months you have winters, right? And the sun is not coming out every day. Look, the sun has come out. It's a miracle. And that is the problem here. So if you can avoid all these things, then Germany is the right place for you. But I wanted you to consider and reconsider these points so that you can make a wise decision I want you to be here, I want you to be thriving in Germany, but I also do want you to know certain things. So yeah, I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I tried my best to summarize all the points, the reason why sometimes some people go back to their own country and they don't like Germany that much. But yeah, these are the cons and the other pros I've already talked in my different videos. So do check out my different videos and I hope you liked it. But yeah, <laughs> this is also just a lot of beautiful places that I'm showing you in this video. So yeah, give this video a like. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you with more useful information. Until then, bye. And I am so happy because Melody is my cameraman today. She has helped me a lot. So yeah, reporting with Melody Shraddha Varashar from Dusseldorf. <laughs>
Oh my god! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let me come from. <laughs> I'm so curious, conscious. Look at them fighting. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's another 